Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are flying an American Airlines, I think it's American Airlines, I, I think that's what it's called. Uh, an Airbus A321-231, I don't know what that means, the, uh, the 231 on the end. Uh, but essentially this is an airplane that we do, or we have, flown previously. Uh, but now it has an American Airlines livery on it, so as you guys can see, American flag on the back, we've got American written on the side. We're going to jump inside this thing. We're taking off from this really small airport, and we're going to head to the Arctic today. So hopefully everything goes well. Let's go ahead and jump inside and see what happens. Let's go. Okie dokie. So in order to get in, let's just go ahead and open up this, and uh, we'll grab onto the handle and hopefully be able to just jump inside. There we go, that was actually very easy. Wait, unfold stairs? Oh no, seats. Sorry, I didn't read that correctly. Uh, but there we go, awesome. So TV, live TV, we have intercom. We also have TV boarding screen, very laggy. We don't want to turn that on, really. Um, we also have a bunch of seats, but obviously what we're going to do today, we're going to go inside. Whoa, that's the lavatory? It's tiny. This thing is so small, that's unreal. Well, okay, right, it's literally just a seat. That's crazy. Anyway, we're going to get inside here. We're going to turn on all the lights so that hopefully we can actually uh, see inside of this thing. And then we'll get going. Okie dokie. So I believe everything is actually firing up now, which is awesome. We have our two engines on. We have our lights on. We have our navigation lights on. Our beacons. We have everything on that we need on, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it is currently raining, but we don't have to do anything with that because, uh, yeah, there's not really too much that we need to do with that. So that's all fine. Uh, now that our engines are actually powered up, we'll turn off the generator for the APU and we'll actually turn off the APU itself because it no longer needs to be on. So there we go. Fasten your seatbelts. No smoking. Sit in the first opposite seat. And I guess let's just, let's just floor it. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to take off, guys. We are, we are taking off already. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Disable parking brake. That probably should have been pressed earlier, but never mind. All right, there we go. We're actually in the sky already. That is pretty awesome. Landing gear needs to come up. There it is right there. And we are already flying. This is awesome. This is actually amazing. Yeah. Okie dokie. So we are still actually on our climb out. I have turned the altitude hold on, but we, uh, we're we going to go a little bit higher than that, actually. Whoa, we're already up to like 2,000. Okay, no, we need to be lower than that. Let's go to around 540. Yeah, 450. There we go. Altitude hold is going to go on at that altitude, and... This is awesome. Yes, it's totally working. All right, brilliant. Is there anything else that really needs putting in? GPS autopilot. Uh, I don't know whether this works as the GPS autopilot. So, yeah. I'm not sure if we use this. This is the auto land. Um, I'm going to assume we don't use that, and I'm assuming that we use something else, but I don't know what. So that's probably a problem. Hmm. Okie dokie. So you actually have to use this little uh, flight computer to, uh, to make this work. So waypoint one is actually in. It should now fly towards that waypoint which is in front of us. It is seemingly listing to the right, but that's okay. Uh, as long as it continues to fly in pretty much a straight line, which is good. So, we're already on. Everything's already all A-OK. -okay. We're going to go this way so that we can see our weight, and our fuel, and also our range. We can go 3,440. That's brilliant. Alright, cool. So, now that all that's on, let's go ahead and go backwards, and uh, we'll see what we can actually see back here. Because all the lights are on. So we have our galley at the front, clearly. Uh, our TV should be on. TV channel, let's go with like one. No? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, right, okay. Live TV, let's... Ooh. I don't seem to be able to turn on the live TV. It's just this. It's just that it's, it's crashed. Okay, interesting. Well, anyway, we'll leave that like that and we'll make our way backwards. So we have a bunch of seats, uh, which are actually separated. So this is like business class. If we go backwards from there, we've got three seats in a row and three seats in a row, which is awesome. So that's more like economy. And it's economy all the way backwards. We have a lavatory right here. Literally just a seat. That's... Oh, that's a seat, but you can go down into the under... Okay. You can go into the cargo area. That's weird. We have more TVs right here. Okay, awesome. And uh, we've got a cabin door at the back as well, as well as two more lavatories. Awesome. Yeah. So, this thing is actually Stormlink compatible, so if you guys do actually want to transport people in your career mode, uh, you can totally do that, and I believe there's like 140 seats, which is pretty insane. But anyway, uh, since we're listing and we seem to be actually going down towards the ground, 
let's uh, let's get back in here and move ourselves around. Oh, the autopilot needs to be turned on. Aha, there we go. I didn't have that turned on. And we were just like going in the right direction anyway. Awesome. Okie dokie. So there are actually a bunch of instructions on how to use this thing in the, uh, the description of the plane. Uh, I didn't really use those, so that's a thing. But uh, we are flying. Everything seems okay. We have a fire extinguisher down by side us, and that is awesome. Still raining, still daytime. That's awesome. And there we go. So uh, we've got ourselves some nice little videos there. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it does seem to still be listing to the side. We don't really need this to be fully throttled up either. So we're going to actually throttle back quite far. We're going to go to like 60 if we can. There we go. Uh, and hopefully we don't fall out the sky because of that. I don't think we're going to. But it does keep listing, which is um, quite annoying, actually. I'm not going to lie. That is quite annoying. Okay, so uh, as our flight continues, we are still actually really far away. Our wind, or the wind, has actually managed to turn on and is really, really pushing this aircraft around. Like, we are going sideways quite a distance here. So we're going to throttle up to full uh, to hopefully counteract the wind at least a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're going to use a lot more fuel, so this might be an issue. But uh, at the same time, we seem to have a lot of fuel. Not going to lie, we've got like 32,000 liters, so I think we're going to be good. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I just found something that I didn't expect to find on an aircraft. Um, I've actually just found a pistol. So we've got a pistol, we've got pistol ammunition. Can I actually take out one of my engines? I know that sounds like a silly thing to do, or to want to do as a pilot, but um, that is what I want to do. So let's try and shoot our engine out. We'll go with this one. Um... Okay, it doesn't seem to be breaking it too bad. It's definitely breaking it, but it's not too bad. Hmm. Hmm. How do I take it out? I don't actually have that much ammunition. I could put on infinite. Ah, that's a good idea, actually. All right, guys. Infinite ammunition is on. Let's go. Uh, turns out it doesn't work for hand... Oh, no, it does. All right, let's try and take it out. Come on, keep shooting. This is so silly. This is actually ridiculous. All right, keep shooting. We're going to go forwards a little bit, see if we can shoot it. Actually, let's go forwards on the aircraft. We're not at a very high altitude, so opening the door doesn't matter. But we're going to go all the way to the front. We're going to stand in this doorway. Oh, this is creepy and scary and stuff. We have damaged it. Okay, keep shooting. Keep shooting. All right, reload. Fire again. I'm a madman. Okay, we, we can't seem to break an engine. Like, if you think about it, planes hit birds and they die. Uh, and planes fall out the sky. But... Wait. <gasps> no! Oh! No, 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 no! I need to get back in. I really need to... Uh, I thought this was going to happen. Whoa. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, that was so close. Come on, keep it going. Come on! <gasps> I'm in. Kind of. Let me in a seat. Please. Ugh. Oh, I'm in the cargo bay. But I'm like in the ground in the cargo bay. Okay, so turns out you don't want to... You really, really do not want to try and shoot your engine. Because you'll end up in the cargo bay, guys. Oh, this isn't good. This is real bad. This is really bad. Luckily, once we are actually in the aircraft, though, it's very easy to actually teleport in. Which is very good. Okay, that was... We saved ourselves there, but only just. Am I at the front or the back? I'm at the back. Okay, so... What's that? Is that a wheel? Why is the wheel inside? That's weird. That's very weird. Anyway, we've managed to shoot the engine. So much so that it is, like, very damaged. But it's not dying. It's just not. That's crazy. Alright, guys. It turns out if you want to get on, like, one of the safest aircraft in the game... Then just get on this thing, because I've been shooting at this for a while now. We're actually almost in the Arctic as well, because I can see the snow. 
But um, I've been shooting this for ages, and it hasn't actually bothered it at all, it seems. Like, nothing has actually happened to this thing. I don't believe there's any way of me getting onto the wing either, because I would really love to. Um, but yeah, there's the, like, what? How has that not died yet? That's the, it's crazy, actually. Oh, I'm just going to shoot the wing. No, it's pointless. It's actually a pointless exercise. That's ridiculous. What's this? Help. Why is it just saying help? That's very... What is that? Right, okay. Uh, so, engine actually seems fine, even though it has been shot a million times. It seems okay. Uh, we are in the Arctic now, so that's pretty good. Weather not behaving itself, but that's okay. Everything's fine. This is ridiculous. Alright, I'm back in the front of the aircraft and we are, uh, we're shooting at the engine again. Hopefully, hopefully we can take it out from here. If you're wondering why I'm aiming to the left of the engine, it's because the wind actually takes out bullets backwards. Um, in that kind of direction. I think we might be doing some damage now. I think we might actually be getting to the engine bit, which is brilliant. Because that's all I wanted in the first place. So there we go, right. I think we might have done some damage. Close the doors, open the doors to the flight deck. Let me in. How are the engines? Have we got anything that shows us? No? Okay, well, this engine on the side, still working completely fine. This engine, working completely fine. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Just out of curiosity, let's go shoot the other engine and see if we can actually destroy that one. Uh, because it might just be that we are at an angle where we can't destroy this one, but you see, I've shot the fan straight away. That is, that is dead. But the engine behind the fan isn't going to get damaged, I don't think. No matter how much we shoot it, I don't think it's going to get damaged. I really don't. Look, I'm trying my bestest. My best rust is, is, is not good enough. I can't destroy that engine. Also, I don't know why my shooting looks like this. It seems weird. It seems very weird. All right, okay, let's go backwards. All right, we're going to open up this one. I'm going to shoot it from here. Oh, wow. I feel really close to this. Nothing. It's not going to do it. Can I? Right, this is risky. What's actually back there? Let's have a little look. All right, can I jump onto... All right, let's go open the door behind. This is going to be silly. This... Do not try this at home, anybody. All right, open this. Oh, wow. Of course it opens that way. Okay. Uh, we might be able to jump through the wall. Right, okay. Everybody ready? Okay. Mm. Right. Do not try that at home. That's a bad idea. But take that engine. Yeah. It still won't die. Hang on. We have to sit further forwards. Okay. I can't. I can't even destroy it from here. This is ridiculous. Come on. As if. This is, this is silly. This is so silly. I can't destroy the engine even when I'm stood on it. That's insane. That is insane. Okay, I don't even care anymore. But uh, I don't think I'll actually be able to get back inside, which is the other issue that I may have. If I can jump into one of those seats, that would be perfect through a wall. However, I don't think that's possible. So we're going to have to jump in. Uh, which is ridiculous because the door is actually on the... Ooh, actually, maybe we can just jump across the top and then fall in. Oh, yes. All right, because we are actually coming up to our destination. I, I thought we'd be able to destroy an engine. I'm not going to lie. It is not possible uh, to shoot it dead for some reason. Unless that bullet just did... Look at the engines. I've completely destroyed them. But at the same time, I just haven't. So there you go. Anyway, let's fall inside. There we go. Close the doors. That's not the button for it. That is. There we go. And we're going to try a landing. So, uh, first officer or captain? Ah, let's go in first officer seat. Okay, so, oh no, that isn't actually our destination. The autopilot seems to have broken. The autopilot does seem to have broken. So at least we've done that, right? That's good. Yeah. Wait, guys. Guys, I've actually got... I, I don't know where all of the, uh, the stuff is, but the logic for this plane... But I can't actually control the aircraft anymore. Uh, so whatever I've done means that the aircraft is actually broken. Like it is legitimately actually broken. Turn that off, turn this off. Uh, the autopilot is off. So yes, the plane has zero control now of pitch or anything. 
So it is actually just gonna fall up. This is the oh, okay. Uh, maybe I was doing more damage than I thought. That's not good. Okay, so we are actually gonna be going down. Let's go ahead and uh, flaps down. There we go, as much as we possibly can. I don't think they're gonna work either. Not gonna lie, the flaps don't seem to be doing anything. Speed brakes. Let's go ahead and pop those. Arm speed brakes. Go. Okay, I don't think they're doing anything. We're actually just gonna crash into the water. Full throttle. Let's go. I don't know if we've got any lift. We don't. We're dead. Wow. Okay, so, turns out, flying an airliner, pretty difficult in the first place. Uh, the second thing is, flying an airliner while shooting at its engines, also pretty difficult. And then the third thing, the logic might be inside the engines for everything else. That seems pretty crazy. Also, I'm dead. That's ridiculous. I actually died. Wow. Okie dokie, so if you want to fly something like this, then uh, I will actually link this down below. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spawn this in again because there are a few more things that I do actually want to show you guys. So let's go ahead and spawn it back in and uh, have a little look at it. It'll be cool. What in the world is going on there? That is... Okay, well that wasn't supposed to happen. Let me spawn this in again real quick. Here we go. So it should spawn in and it should be nice this time. I don't know what happened last time. It definitely didn't spawn in properly. Anyway, so what I haven't showed you guys from the outside is actually these things right here. Uh, this is actually a cargo door. I don't know how you open it. I'm not actually entirely sure how you open these. Oh, there we go. So hatch up. There we go. Awesome. And we also have hatch down. So you can actually store things inside of there if you need to. Uh, there is also the rear where we can do the same thing. Bam. There you go. Hatch up. And these are both cargo areas, which are actually pretty decent. So, um... Yeah, if you guys need an A321, I think is what it is, uh, then you can use this one. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.